The Core of Your Inner Sadness by Master Hilarion, channeled through Natalie Glazen, December 15, 2017, Original Source, Sacred School of Omna. Today, I, Master Hilarion, Kohen of the Fifth Ray of Light, wish to speak with you about the energy of sadness within your being. Recognizing and healing your inner sadness is an aspect of your own spiritual evolution aiding you in accessing the mastery within your being. Your inner sadness may feel personal to you as if it is a result of your circumstances and journey upon the earth. You may recognize your inner sadness as being your constant companion or that it exists in the distance visiting you now and then. To you, your inner sadness may be due to an experience of lack in your reality, or unfulfilled desires and dreams. Along with sadness there is suffering, as when you are experiencing energies and a mindset of sadness you are causing yourself suffering. It can be that experiencing suffering caused by another to you may also allow your inner sadness to bubble up into your conscious awareness and physical body. There are seemingly numerous causes for inner sadness to be your companion. I, Master Hylorion, wish to discuss your inner sadness with you while bringing forth liberation and freedom from the pain of sadness. Humanity's Collective Sadness Throughout the many civilizations and lifetimes that have manifested upon the earth, humanity has experienced so many different situations. While most situations, even if they are challenging, bring growth and renewal to the soul, they can leave scars within the consciousness of humanity. Experiences of fear, being limited or controlled, hurt or wounded, manipulated and so forth, can remain as pockets of energy within the consciousness of humanity. These pockets of energy seem stagnant as if they are creating blockages. However, they are active and growing because humanity is constantly adding their energy to them. These pockets of limiting active energy weigh heavy on all beings upon the earth. All of humanity is connected to a source of energy which is akin to a library of all thoughts and feelings experienced by humans upon the earth. This is known as the consciousness of humanity. Within the consciousness of humanity is the energy of ascension, the truth of the Creator, as well as the greatest possibilities and opportunities for humanity. The consciousness of humanity is constantly changing and transforming, becoming lighter and brighter as old limiting energies of disharmony are being released and healed. It is the limiting energies created by humanity and stored within the consciousness of humanity which can create inner sadness within your being at this very moment. You can access the consciousness of humanity and do so all the time. This means that you can connect into, often without realizing, the darkness or pain that others have experienced. All of humanity is linked and connected, akin to one body in numerous parts, this means that the pain and darkness of others can be adopted as your own again without you realizing it. This is often when people believe they have attachments, it is because they are connecting with the pain or disharmony within the consciousness of humanity, it resonates with them so deeply that it becomes a part of them as if living alongside them. Much of your sadness is accessed from the pockets of limiting energy and disharmony within the consciousness of humanity. Often your sadness is not your own, or it can be your creation from another lifetime amplified. The greatest sadness. The core of your sadness and the sadness all feel extends from a simple illusion. The illusion is a belief in separation. When the Creator created your soul group, there appears to be an experience of separation, this is the same for all soul groups. When you enrolled in the Earth School, you may also have experienced a separation, feeling alienated and separate from the inner planes, your divine remembrance of self and the Creator, and your mighty power. We cannot say as to whether your experiences of separation were imprinted into your being after the event, or were your natural reactions of being propelled into a journey of exploring the truth of the Creator. I, Master Hylorion, believe that all experiences of sadness, whether they bubble from within, or are instigated by an experience in your reality are born from this original illusion of separation. I use the word illusion, because all beings are constantly connected, united in energy and consciousness. Separation is an illusion or an imaginary story that all rerun to themselves. Every soul knows deep within their being there is only unity, and yet many experience the pain of separation. Sadness and separation are the same energy and I, Master Hylorion, 
no they are heavyweights and all-consuming wounds that create chaos and upset on such a deep soul level. The pain and suffering this illusion causes cannot be denied. Healing Humanity's Sadness When light and love is of greater percentage within the consciousness of humanity, inner wounds held within your being and energies of separation will no longer be energized. Firstly, there is a need to imagine the consciousness of humanity as a source of energy, send your light and love through the source. Anchor the light and love of the Creator and all within the universe of the Creator, encourage energies to flow, thus dissolving the pockets of limitations and disharmony. Secondly hold the intention for the consciousness of humanity to be realigned and reconnected with the consciousness of the Creator, thus allowing all of humanity to be embraced in the energy of the Creator, feeling and accepting the support and love of the Creator. This will release from the consciousness of humanity the belief in separation that many are holding onto. As you work to achieve this, calling upon my energy, Master Hylorion, to be your companion, so you will experience a liberation within your being. You will notice that any feelings of sadness, separation, or limiting energies will not feel as empowered within your being, and therefore will not have such a powerful hold over your energy. When many souls upon the earth achieve the same, it will create a shift in the experiences of all upon the earth. As more people create from love and positivity so this will become the reality they experience. Healing Your Inner Experience of Sadness To support your healing of your inner sadness, there is a need to recognize that experiences and feelings of separation are often the core of sadness. With this realization, so you can allow yourself to sink through, almost below the energy of sadness you are experiencing to access its core. As you allow yourself to sink through your sadness as if you are melting through clouds, you may recognize many memories or insights which seem to be the core of your sadness, each one allows healing and directs you upon a pathway to the true core of your sadness. Examples of these insights or memories may be remembering feelings of lack of power, fear, pain, shame, being attacked, controlled and so forth. Each has been created by your core feelings of separation and therefore each need to be recognized, acknowledged and released in order for you to access the truth within you. It can be advisable to ask within your being to be guided to your inner core of sadness and separation. Often this is hidden from your awareness because it holds and instigates too much pain and suffering. As you ask within, so you will receive the understanding and healing you desire. Please be aware it may take a few meditations focused on this matter to allow yourself to dissolve your inner core of separation. The insights you gain along the pathway are akin to your story and journey to regaining and reaccessing your natural unity and oneness with all, and all that is the Creator. Each aspect of the story of your inner wounds, illusions, and experiences of separation are valuable and are an important part of your liberation. I am present to be of service. Master Hylorion